This is part two of the video. I got the uh, wheel bearing out. I want to sit right here. And now the hub is ready to be pulled off. Okay, I got the hub off. I'm letting it drain in that pan right there. Now, I want to take all this over to the parts washer and clean up the bearings and inspect them. Okay, my bearing, my outer bearing is soaking in the parts washer. So, what I want to do now is remove all these bolts right here. Now I'll separate the rotor from the hub. And if you look at the rotor itself, you can see how rusted it is. <clears throat> and that's a tone ring right there that this ABS sensor reads off of. And the ABS sensor can't read it. And it's going to set the light. So I want to remove all these bolts. That's the next step. Okay, all the bolts are out. Snap to the rotor. And sit down here. And now we have to get this bearing uh, out, and you got a seal right here. So, what I want to do is <clears throat> flip this back on top of here. Now, I want to take my brass punch and put it on the bearing and I'm going to tap the bearing down and the bearing is going to press against the seal to dry the seal out. Okay, I knocked out the uh, wheel bearing through the back side of the hub here. So, take the hub and slide it off and pull out the new wheel bearing or the old wheel bearing here. I'll take and put that on my rag right there. And here's the old seal. Old seal we're going to discard. Uh, the old rotor, we're going to discard that too. Now, what I want to do is I want to clean up my hub unit and my inner and outer bearings. Okay, I got my hub all cleaned out. Took to the parts washer. And after the parts washer, I brake cleaned it to get any kind of residue off. Uh, if you're replacing the wheel bearings right here, or the seals, or the races you have to drive out, that's one race, and then the other one's on the other side. But I am fortunate and don't replace my wheel bearing because I don't see any scarring or scratching, and everything rolls smoothly. The cage looks good um, on both of them. I've inspected both of them. They both look good, and I think like they're ready to be put back in. So now I'm going to put my inner wheel bearing in and what I like to do is take some gear oil and I'm going to put on the outside of this and I'm going to place it in there. So now I got, now I got gear oil in there, place it back down in there and just what I like to do is go through and a little in there and I'll take and spin it around a little bit so that way when you go on your test drive your bearings aren't completely dry now the next step is I'm gonna put the seal in alrighty well you got your seal here and <clears throat> it says on here hub seal and air side you can read that and I want to take and put just a little bit of lube on the seal itself. I'll place it in here like this. Now, I have a special tool to install these. And I want to basically hit this with a hammer until, it's, until I hear its seat. The sound you're looking for is this. That way, you know your seal is completely seated in the hub. Now, my next step is, come over here, 
to my axle tube and as you can see there's a little bit of dirt and stuff so what I like to do is clean it off with a rag make it nice and then another thing I like to do and just put this right here on here like that and just lube it up a little bit now I'm going to install my hub okay now before I install my hub and he put my rotor on and so I'm going to take all these bolts here and I'm going to put a little bit of penetrating on these threads and then I'm going to put all these in and I'm going to tighten them down with my air gun so let's do that now okay so I tightened all these bolts down and the way I did it was I went from here to here to here to here to here to here like in a star just to make sure it seats on there correctly so all my bolts are tight now I want to take some brake clean and clean off these rotors got a little bit of oil on here and I don't want to get to that to get onto my new brake pads after I clean that off I'm going to install it onto the axle so now that I installed it I'll clean off this rotor on the outside because I got my fingerprints on it using brake clean another thing you got to do is clean off that ABS sensor which I did before I installed my hub assembly okay now we're just going back together with it so I'll reach down here and grab my wheel bearing and I'm going to put gear oil all over the outside here like I did the last one okay now that I installed my bearing and I put gear all over it I want to take my retaining nut here install this by hand at first then I'm going to take and install it with my ratchet now the trick to this is is to basically tighten the nut about as tight as you can get it and turn it off back it off about a quarter turn so that way it's not too tight and that's the way you seat the bearing get the bearings to seat onto the axle hub so I'm gonna tighten it down as tight as I can get it with my ratchet and I want to back it off a quarter turn okay I got my nut tightened and then I backed it off a quarter turn so that way it won't burn up the wheel bearings by being too tight now we're going to put our keeper on there and the way the keeper is designed if you look at it right there it's designed to go over and actually lock onto the nut uh, inside so we're going to take this and put this in and you can see how it's got a tooth here that keeps it from moving and it's also going to be stationary on that axle nut now we take the, the outer axle nut and we put this on as tight as we can get it so I'm going to tighten this up my fingers first and now I'm going to put my big ratchet on there and get as tight as I can get it Okay, that one's on there good and tight. So, if you see, there's a tab here and a tab here and right down here. I'm gonna take at least one of these tabs and bend it. So that way it locks this nut into place. The way I wanna do that is, is with the, my uh, pry bar. I'm gonna put my pry bar in here upwards or I should say outwards okay the one I went with what's the one on the bottom here 
as you see it's bent and that keeps that nut from backing off alrighty so next thing I want to do is clean up my surface here and prepare it I'm going to install the axle but before I do that I need to put silicone around the axle so I need to clean it all up before I put before I put my silicone on so let me do that okay I got my axle cleaned up here and it's looking pretty good got it all wiped down so the next thing I do is put some RTV silicone on it and then I'll install it the axle into the axle tube here okay I got silicone there on my axle so now I'll just slide it in here and it can be a little bit of a bear to install this one I got lucky maybe there we go now I'm gonna tighten down uh, all these nuts okay the axles installed I did the star pattern tightening these nuts down and putting this one bolt in and now we're on to putting installing the brake pads but first we need to get the old hardware off and put the new hardware on and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my pry bar and the hammer and I'm going to tap up and pry that off of there and then I'll pry this one off of there and then I'll install my new ones which are right here okay now that I got the slide the hardware here installed I'm gonna pull the slide out and use some caliper grease to uh, lube up here this is some good stuff right here, this Sil Glide from Napa. So I want to grease that up. Alrighty, now it's all greased up. I reinstall it back into the caliper bracket here. I get a rag, wipe off any excess. Okay, now it's time to install my brake pads. Uh, these are both on the same, you get the same kind of cut on each side, so it doesn't matter which one goes on the inside or outside on this particular uh, vehicle. So I'm going to put those on and I'll put a little grease on the back side of my brake pads too. Okay, my brake pads are installed, as you can tell. Now I took my wire off that was holding the caliper up and I put my screwdriver right here to hold up the uh, brake caliper as you can tell uh, you gotta be very careful with that you don't want that caliper coming down and smashing your fingers so what I want to do now is remove that it's kind of hanging there by itself and pull down and everything should just slide together you got to push in down here on the uh, slide here and now I'm going to install my bolt here so let me do that real quick. Okay, I tightened that bolt down. Um, one thing I didn't show was I did uh, lube up this slide too um, earlier. So this has got lube in here. You cannot remove it all the way because it hits the leaf spring. So I just pull it out as much as I can, put my finger uh, in grease and grease it around as much as I can. I slide it back in place. So now the caliper's on. And everything's back together the only thing left to do is put my tires back on um and can't about this bracket here i put this bracket back on too put that back up there and i put my tires on and before i'm done uh, i'll pump the brakes several times make sure you do that because you don't want this thing rolling away on you and uh, not have any brake pedal so make sure whenever you do any brake job before you move it you pump the brakes several times and then back out slowly um, so yeah there there's my video and I appreciate you watching and if you would uh, leave some comments and uh, we'll see you next time
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.